Hello everyone, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We're picking up exactly where we left off. All right, it's already nighttime on whatever this day is called. What is it called? Lust. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just wait and meet Mrs. Charm next time. She's not particularly important. There is another way that we can mate Snake that I'm aware of. But we will meet her at some point. All right. Got ourselves some new points. Any technologies we should be grabbing right now? We do want an anvil relatively soon. We do want firewood in the chopping spot. Yeah, okay, well, let's do one, one thing at a time here. The ghost at the very end of yesterday's episode asked us to dig up this body and throw it in the river. And we are gonna go ahead and oblige him. Exhume. To exhume a body, you need to have exhumation permission, which we have. Are you sure you want to exhume the body? Yes. And... Throw his ass in the river. And he's just gonna float on down to the town. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body? But he asked us. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha, -ha, he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I never do anything like that But we're because we're friends. But you get my points, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Um, how can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? You need a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Do you know where that river leads? Are we frozen? We're completely frozen. Oh, there we go. Each important character, tutorial, known NPCs. Each important character who the graveyard keeper meets will appear on the character screen. The character's mood is zero to 100 as shown below the character. The tasks related to a character are listed to the right of the character. Some services require a certain level of mood. We already knew all that. All right, so we missed out on whatever else Jerry was gonna say, but that's okay. So to repair this, we need all of this. We'll get there eventually. At the moment, I'm just going to show you guys... Uh, where's the morgue? So it's down here. Right here. We don't have the blueprint for it yet, but this is where we can build the uh, crematorium. <clears throat> uh, we need some sticks, so might as well knock some stuff out down in the graveyard. Improve the quality one at a time. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna work on fixing all these pretty soon too. There's just a lot to do all at once. Look at that, just like that, we're at negative 13. Um, some more things that we want to get done here. Uh, actually, it might be a building. None of it seems to be unlocked yet. I think it's all down here. Um, oh, there we go. Simple gravestones. Yeah, we want, to, we want to unlock this right now. We'll eventually get to the stone and the carved. But we're going to unlock this right now. So we're just going to knock down all the old decrepit stuff here and just build new ones. Because crafting repair kits is actually kind of difficult. Um, I mean, we'll eventually be able to. But that one's good for now. Okay, so I got the... We got we to gotta go to Witch Hill right now, too, I think. <clears throat> to talk to the Inquisitor. 
The reason I got the sticks though is I was gonna start getting some cooking going. So fuel from sticks. All right, we can get 40. All right, we got 40. <clears throat> We don't have enough of anything yet. Cuz. All right, we have plenty of dough. We just need to go get some water. So let me hop out of here. Head on over to our well. All right, we got the water. Hop into here. There we go. Now we have some water. So I can go here. This is going to take a lot of energy. And I mean a lot of energy. Okay, there we go. We got 24 dough. So now we can cook bread. We can only do 16 because that's all, all the fire we have right now, but that's fine. So those will be cooking away. And let's see here. Hop into technologies, um, theology. So these are crafted at carpenter's workbench, carpenter's workbench, and stone cutter. So how do we build the carpenter's workbench? Do we have the blueprints already? We don't. So this is what I'm talking about. You gotta do a bunch of things to be able to do anything. There's stone cutter. Where is the carpenter's workbench? Way up there. So that's what we're going to want to unlock next. It'll also allow us to craft wooden repair kits. So we need 20 red ones. We only have three. So Carpenter's Workbench is the next thing to work towards so that we can start building the uh, gravestones to improve the quality of the graveyard. Let's see. Do we have a body waiting for us? No. Perfect. We're going to go to Witch Hill because the Inquisitor comes every this day. Uh, Gluttony. When I said I learned the basics, that's all I meant. Just the basics. Oh no. I guess that's not today. Oh, it's that day. Okay, so that's two days from now. So we got other stuff that we can do today then. We're gonna try... Just to get some red points. I might as well gather some resources while we're doing that. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's put that down for a second, gather the mushrooms. We want to get a bunch of food just so we don't have to be sleeping nonstop. Get some berries, some more berries, and we're out of energy, just like that. So energy goes by fast and furious. But like I said, the days of the week, except for certain things that you want to be able to do, it's not that important. Let's put that there. Um, how we do? We only have five. Okay, let's grab some bread. Let's grab a quick nap. Get our energy back. Um, so that day we got to go see the Inquisitor, and on this day we need to um, go see the Astrologer. We may not have the graveyard ready after our first week. Hey, the ghost is back. I'm so refreshed. Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though, I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive, I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel, it bears the mark of his life. Sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard peaceful when it's full of sinners. I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't, haha. -ha. You better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. All right, graves. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets red or white skulls from its body's parts. You can change a corpse's red and white by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase your graveyard is to decorate graves with objects that have more whatever that is. Each line that has both a white skull and a green thingy counts as one thingamabobber. Lines that have red never count, but you need to fill them with thingy and thingy lines. 
Could be more confusing if we tried, but luckily we understand. All right, got a bunch of bread here. We should equip that. Whoops. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's just think this through for a second. What we gotta do? Well, we can go repair some wood stuff, but we also we wanna we wanna fast track ourselves to be able to do the woodworking, right? Who's that in? No, oh, it's in building. So we need twenty. We're we're really short on red ones. So let's go cut down a bunch of trees because we're gonna need wood to build the carpenter's workbench anyway. Probably some stone as well, but. I right, hope this works as well on PC as it does on console. Cause actually, what does, does stone get me more red than a tree does? No, it's the same. Okay, good. Yeah, you can carry one and just push one along with you. Pretty handy. Whoops. We don't need those quite yet, but we're getting points for knocking them over, so. Just stock up on some resources here earning our beautiful red points as we go. And of course, badly draining our energy, but. Do I get red for gathering mushrooms? No, just green. We don't have anything to do today, do we? On MB day. There we go, we have 20. So let's go ahead and grab woodworking. And now let's see what we need to build that. Oh, wooden sticks. Oh wait, no, we don't need the saw hours, my bad. What we wanted was the carpenter's workbench. So five filches and complex iron parts. So we get the filches from here. This will get us five, or six of them. And thanks to our friend the blacksmith, we already have the um, the simple iron parts. Let's put that, eh, let's put it right next to the, what you call it. And now we can build these. Nails is gonna be a problem. We may have to buy nails for now because... Okay, well we can create the anvil, but we're gonna need some iron. Okay, wait, hold up. We need 10 more red. Okay, well, let's eat a little bread and let's just keep packing away here. We don't have anything important to do until tomorrow and the next day as well. For some reason, these tiny ass bear trees, bear I mean like the leaves on them, they're the same size as the ones that it does let us knock down, but it won't let us knock them down. It says you need a technology. So I'm sure it's just a little bit, a little bit further down in the, uh, in the skill tree, but. I really shouldn't be wasting bread when we're this close to the house, but I would like to make some progress here. Pick it up. There you go. Okay. What are we at? 11. Good lord.
You know what we should do? We get one red per thing that we knock down, and right now we're just trying to get enough to unlock that techno the, the, uh, the technology. So we're going to... Man, I was hoping for some smaller things to knock down. All right, that was a blunderous detour. Keep going. We have to get to 20, right? Oh, no we don't. We only needed 10. Okay, so let's head back and figure out where we're at with all this. So we just got the ability to build the wooden anvil. We're gonna want the actual anvil though, I think. Oh, we can craft nails at a wooden anvil. All right, let's go see. Wooden anvil. Gets. Oh, we got a new corpse too. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, so let's go. Hop into here. Build the wooden anvil real quick. Because from the wooden anvil, we can make nails with iron. And we need nails to make the wooden crosses. Okay. Let's go in here and grab some more bread. Let's eat just a couple. I shouldn't be, I really should not be wasting bread when I'm right beside the house, but I'm trying to get as much done as quickly as possible. Because if we're doing 30 minute episodes, inevitably there's going to be some where just absolutely nothing happens. Okay, hmm. let's grab our corpse. We're going to put him into the grave that we exhumed previously. Let's extract the flesh. So he's got one sin there, but... Same as before. It's not a great body, but we can't exactly afford to be picky right now. We don't have the crematorium up and running. We don't have enough skills to remove any body parts except for the flesh, so. All right, and we got some more money from that burial certificate, which is always nice. These are the things I was looking for when we wandered around up there. Okay, let's try and save this bread. Maybe we'll just go to bed now. It is nighttime after all. But, so we gotta make some planks from our filches. So basically what we gotta do is go like this, make some filches. Is it Fletch or Filch? It's Flitch. Filch is the name of the dude from Harry Potter. Okay, so I'll make seven wooden planks. With the wooden planks, then we can make some of these, and we'll have to go get some iron to make the nails. Do we have the technology to gather iron? Yeah, we do. All right, let's go to bed, because today we have to go to Witch Hill as well. Can I get more? Whoops, there we go. Some more bread going. Get re-energized here. I don't think we're gonna have the graveyard back to plus five by the time the bishop comes back. But even if we don't, we'll have it ready for the next time he comes back. I'm so refreshed and we got some fresh bread. Oh! The Inquisitor. I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby, going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, Sard, he'll kill me, or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on this hill that will help get me home. Alright, let's go do this right away. And then we'll work on getting some grave fixer-uppers crafted. 
and tomorrow we got to go to the lighthouse. And there's a bunch of things that I'm going to be doing on the way. Some more NPCs we got to meet. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Is that how you say that? Monsignor? Good, were there any problems? No, Monsignor, except there was this strange fella snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt! Guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys. Why? Is it called this for certain? I'm the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? Agree. It would be my honor. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? So, I'm not a big fan of the whole witch burning thing, but we gotta find a way to get home. Um, we're going to dodge. It just happened, there's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising, I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years and it's only the beginning. Burn the witch! Burn! Long live the Great Inquisitor! Hurrahs! Hurrahs all around! So you work a lot with dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside this hill, near the graveyard, that right? Yep. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves after death. But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. I will agree to be his friend. It'll be a pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. So I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next. What's the day called again? Oh, wrath. Wrath day. He was right. Uh, there was no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. All right. Good talk. I appreciate you making me watch somebody burn alive. That was fun. And now to go back to what we were doing. Nope, nope. We'll come back and knock all these down. Three red points for each one. But I got some other stuff I want to do first. How are we doing on technologies? We do want this for sure. It's not super necessary quite yet though. Chopping spot. Stone cutters, how we're going to make the stone repair kits. And we're going to need mining. Iron ore stockpile. We're smithing. How close are we to a furnace? Furnace 2. Oh, we already have a furnace blueprint. Okay. Because we're going to need to process our iron ingots in order to make those nails. In order to make the grave things. <laughs> Uh, let's see how to craft a furnace. A furnace. Pardon me. Uh, we need more complex iron parts. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to buy them, unfortunately, because we can't make more iron parts without the furnace. Because I can get iron ore, but I can't process it into iron ingot, which is what you need to make the iron parts. Okay. So tomorrow, on the way into town, because we're going to see the astrologer anyway. We're gonna buy some. For now, let's get some iron ore. Cause why not?
shouldn't be any monsters here during the day. I don't know how often this stuff respawns. But you can get, I think, a pretty good amount of it from right here. Hey, we got a body. We'll go deal with that in two seconds. I just want to get the rest of this ore. And what does this say? There's no way I can remove it. Alrighty then. Alright, we got a bunch of iron ore. But we gotta craft a furnace. Oh dear. Just run. Got some bat wings. Didn't really mean to stay here past dark. That just ended up happening. Alright, let me hop into our trunk really quickly. Get rid of the iron. Get rid of that. The stone. Um, the bat wing for now, that's... The potion will keep on us, the whetstone. Actually, that can be in here, because we can repair it from the anvil, or the stone cutter or whatever, even if it's in the trunk. Metal parts, repair kit. Actually, let's keep those on us. They should go by the graveyard. Uh, the fledges can go in there. Grab the rest of my bread. Hop into here real quick. Put the mushrooms away. All right, cool. We're good. Let's go deal with that body. And then we might be calling it an episode. Got a lot planned for the next one. Gonna go see the astrologer. And we got stuff to do on the way too. It's gonna be crazy. All right, hop into here. Let's distract this poor guy's flesh. It's gonna be a terrible body, but we're gonna bury it anyway. It's actually not... It's not good, but it's not terrible. We can't afford to be worried about that crap just yet. It's gonna be a negative one, but... Ah, oh, that's so annoying. It might be a problem. We're gonna get our tools upgraded as soon as we humanly possibly can. Poor body's gonna degrade even more. This game's got a great soundtrack too. It's not Stardew good, but it's very good. Okie dokie. Well, well, we've got the wood repair kit here and some energy to spare. This should get this guy to zero at least. Yeah, not great, but it's fine. Oh, I'm out of energy. Ooh, I didn't mean to hit that many. God damn. Wasting bread. Can we fix that? No, we're out. Okay, let's put the repair kits into this chest. Okay. So tomorrow we gotta remember to bring that in. We gotta go see the astrologer and the lighthouse keeper. We gotta talk to the crazy guy. Dig, I think his name is. Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about when we walk by him. God, I have so much energy now because I wasted all the, I didn't mean to use that many bread. So let's just knock some stuff down and get some, 
Some technology points. The sun's coming up. We should really go to sleep. After we fix our pickaxe. <clears throat> The axe is actually doing okay. Okay. Let's think here. We've actually got two burial certificates that we can sell in town. Okay. Let's... We're just gonna formulate a plan really quickly. So, we need to craft the furnace. Which, what are we, oh, so we gotta, we gotta remember to buy the iron parts. Because we have everything, we just need, we need three more simple iron parts. Let's write that down so I, I don't forget. Three iron parts that'll get us the furnace, at which point we can start making iron ingots, which means we can start making nails, which means, dun da 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 that we can start making grave markers to improve the quality of the graveyard. So there you have it, that's the plan for tomorrow. We gotta go to sleep right now right now so that when tomorrow hits we still have time to go see the uh the astrologer and the lighthouse keeper so guys that's gonna do it for today i hope you're enjoying graveyard keeper so far it's gonna keep going tomorrow we're gonna keep going thursday and gonna keep going friday it's gonna pause no time goes by um yeah guys let me know what you're thinking so far down below uh drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more graveyard keeper and i'll see you guys tomorrow for episode number three take care